Well, here we are. I just started another small fire. I got a bunch of pallets today. Truckload. I got pretty much an endless supply. These are all non-treated uh, pallets. I got a little brush pile there that, with some stumps and stuff. I just covered up with a uh, bunch of pallets. It's green stuff. I just lit it about a couple minutes ago. So we're going to sit here and see how long it takes it to get going pretty good. Most of the pallets are oak and pine. So let's just see what happens. He's starting to pop and crack pretty good. Pallets were nice and dry today. Place where I get them from had a whole bunch of them. So, probably about another 10 truckloads sitting up there. Sorry about all that. I'm just trying to get a good view here. But. <clears throat> Yep, for those of you who don't know, I do live in Virginia. I live just south of the Fredericksburg area in north of Richmond, kind of central Virginia. Uh, a lot of people on uh, YouTube, you know, I've watched a lot of videos over the while. And there are a lot of good people out there. Jano Zero, Big John, you know, he's got a new fishing channel too. I don't remember the name right off the top of my head. But then you got all your uh, homesteaders out there, like the Pratt Family Homestead, Deep South Homestead, the American Homestead. You know, there are a lot of good people. There are a lot of good information. I mean, these people are trying to provide for themselves as much as possible, and I don't blame them because of what's going on when today you don't know what's going to happen one day to the next. And if you don't know how to do things, like plant something and grow your own food, then you're going to be in a world of hurt. You know, people need to know where their food comes from. I've always believed that, and I still do to this day. I mean, we plant a garden every year, but the last two years we've just had some issues. Uh, this year it got in way too late, and we didn't get much out of it. Some squash and some peppers and a couple of tomatoes. And uh, but we're going to do an improvement on it, and uh, next year we're going to do some more. I mean, we didn't even get any canning done this year. No last year. But next year we're going to be hopping and popping. I'm trying to get some new fencing put up. I mean, I just started a new job a week ago. So I worked my first week uh, delivering parts, auto parts, for a place that's only six miles away from my house, which is nice. The, uh, I'd been out for a while looking for something, but I'm already retired once. You know, I retired from the uh, 
fire service. 27 years of service. So I went ahead and took my early retirement and decided to uh, find a second job. And uh, while I was trying to find something, which, you know, this area, there's a lot of jobs, but, oops, there goes my hand. There's a lot of jobs in this area, but I'm trying to, I was trying to find something I liked, you know? I'd already done something for 27 years that I like to do, but it got to the point to where I was having trouble doing it, you know? It was really, really bearing down on me and getting on me, seeing people in dire need and me having to show up and help them. You know, I'm 51 years old. I've been a volunteer fireman since I was 17 years old. Do the math on that yourself. But, you know, like I tell people, I've seen things that other people couldn't handle. And it's gotten to the point to where now I'm the person who can't handle it. So, I'm still a life member of the volunteer department, which is right up the street from my house, which... When I moved from one county to another in 1991, I joined this department as soon as I got here. I had uh, 10 years where I was born and raised at in that small community. And then when I moved here, I joined the volunteer fire department as soon as I got here. And like I said, in the whole other time, I started my career in 1989 and Retired uh, a year ago this past April. But something I like to do. and But now I want to change and I got to change and I'm doing something else. So far I'm liking what I'm doing. It looks good. It looks like, you know, it can go other places eventually. You know, so we'll see how it goes. So as the fire grows and gets rid of all that brush in there and, you know, we've uh, got a nice little area here we can burn in. I'm not really worried about it spreading anywhere because everything's still pretty green around here. We did get some of that remnants of that Hurricane Matthew last weekend, so everything is still a little wet, even though everybody keeps saying we're in a drought. Yeah, they can keep talking about the drought all they want. But for now, I'm going to go. And uh, y'all have a good day. And if you're out there on YouTube, just uh, give these people some credit for what they do. I mean, they put a lot of information out there. I mean, it's like if I'm working on my car. You know, if I need something to know about a vehicle, you can find it on YouTube. Somebody has already had that problem and has worked it out and has fixed it and will show you how to work it out and fix it. You know, and that comes with a lot of other things. You need to be able to know how to do a multitude of things nowadays just in case you can't find somebody to do it or you don't have the money. All right, and there's one other person out there who has really helped me a lot. And that's AJ Prepper, which right now she doesn't do any videos because she's working and doesn't have time and her kids are getting older, but she's a real good person. I like her a lot. We talk every once in a while. Me and Hillbilly's in the bush too. That's her other half or her better half or however you want to call it. But uh, he's a pretty good guy. Me and him have talked a little bit back and forth you know so y'all have a good day and take care be safe